Hey, I'm Nathan Crane. I'm Derek Crane. And we're the co-founders of Crane Factor, where we bring you programs, products, and inspiration on healthy living, fitness training, and creating an amazing life. Today, we want to talk about the pistol squats. This is a three-part video series. So this is part one. This is the foundations, starting with the basics, focusing on what? Range of motion. So what we want to focus on today is being able to have range of motion to going into even being able to do a pistol squat. Right. Because if you don't have the range of motion, it could lead to injury. So here at Crane Factor, we want to build foundation for longevity. Right, I went into the pistol squat too quickly without enough range of motion in my knee and I sprained my MCL. So guess what? We're gonna focus on range of motion in two main places, right? I mean, it's really three, but the two big ones where we're gonna prevent injury is the knee and the ankle. But you also need range of motion in the hip as well, right? Yeah, definitely. So let's get right into it here. What we're gonna do to begin with is actually get into a full squat, all the way down into a full squat. So you should be able to sit down into a full squat before you do a pistol with both legs. If, if not, then you need to work even on this foundational piece. From, from here, what we're actually going to do to create more range of motion through the knees is now come up onto the toes, still staying with the back straight, uh, all the way up onto the ball of the feet here. So what this is doing is now we're loading up the knees under a little bit of tension, what I would call a little bit of load, not under weight or anything, and allowing the knees to open up, create mobility, even going from side to side. Now if there's any pain here whatsoever, that's your indication that you're not ready for a pistol squat yet. You will be, but that's your indication. Okay, I need to build some more range of motion. Right, let me show you this from a side angle real quick. What I like to do is start standing up, right? Especially if you have limited range of motion in your knees, actually start standing up and you can slowly start to go down. If your knees start to hurt here as I'm barely coming up on my toes, stop here and hold this 30 seconds, 45 seconds to a minute. Come back up. Work on this a few times a day, okay? Until you get all the way down and you're literally, you can bounce into your knees in and out. Don't start this, because if you have that limited range of motion, you're gonna feel some pain in your knees, right? So start here, work your way down slowly. If you're here, there's no pain. Start to rock to that outside, outside. Work on this, you know, at least a total of three to four minutes a day, each day, before you even start going into the pistol progressions. Now we wanna build a little bit of strength. You can do this onto a chair, you can do this at, at your local gym on one of the box step ups, uh, or find even a bench. What you're going to do is, is put your leg up onto it. You wanna to be to the side so that your other foot is off to the side. Now what we're going to do is load up the knee slightly. So we're really what we're telling the knee here is that we're getting the ligaments ready for some weight. That's really what we're saying. We're getting the MCL ready, the ACL ready, and the LCL ready. So now, now you're gonna lean forward slightly. Now from this position right here, with your foot still flat, you're gonna just stand straight up. All the way up to standing. Same concept coming back down. Nice and slow and steady. Coming back down, you should be controlled all the way down to where your foot rests. So if you're even if you're even falling there, really, really focus on controlling all the way down to build up the strength through the ligaments and through the hip. Right, so this is really what you consider like progression number one, right? What would you say? At least five sets of 10 of this yeah. is what you should be able to do on each leg. So yeah. five sets of 10 before we move into progression number two, which we'll get into in part two of this series. So again, the takeaways here, you know, the, the ankle dorsiflexion is gonna limit some people, so we wanna work on that range of motion, uh, the knees as well, and then building up the strength in position in doing these things in part one practices to get five sets of 10, and then we'll move into part two of the video, so check that out. So that's it for today. Definitely leave your comments below about your progressions and how this is working for you. Definitely hit that like button. Subscribe for more amazing videos, tutorials, workouts. We got motivation. We appreciate you guys tuning in today. See you in the next video. Thanks so much. Also for more range of motion, mobility work, head over to our website, cranefactor.com. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks.